Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So welcome back to this multi-part tutorial series that's all about blockchain for Python developers. We're talking about Web3 uh, for Python. And in this video, we're actually gonna interact with smart contracts. Um, so you're gonna wanna watch this video. And really quickly, if you wanna become a highly paid blockchain developer, then you need my online blockchain developer bootcamp, which is coming out on May 15th, 2019. And you can find out more information on my website at dappuniversity.com forward slash bootcamp. And I'll put a link to that down in the description below. All right, so in this video, we're going to interact with smart contracts on the blockchain. And we're actually going to, you know, call their functions. We're gonna write uh, transactions to the blockchain with smart contracts. And we already did a video in this series where we kind of just read some information from smart contracts. Uh, but now we actually want to do more. We wanna create transactions that are triggered on the blockchain with smart contracts. And that's gonna work a little differently than just, you know, reading information from them. So in order to do that, we first need a smart contract and we need a blockchain to put it on. So I walked you through how to set up Ganache in some of the previous tutorials. So check that out if you haven't already. Ganache is just a personal blockchain that uh, can be run for development purposes locally. So I've got Ganache uh, set up here on my machine running on port 7545. And now that we've got a blockchain set up, we want to deploy a smart contract to it. And instead of, you know, going through the hassle of setting up a Truffle project and all that stuff, I got plenty of tutorials on my channel that show you how to do that. Instead of that, we're just going to use Remix. So Remix is a great tool. I use it all the time, remix.ethereum.org. Um, and I just pasted in some code here. Um, you know, you could put any smart contract in here that you wanted to. This is the basic hello world canonical greeter smart contract that everyone uses in their tutorials um, that basically just allows you to... Um, you know, set a message and get a message. It's the basic read write contract that just shows you the basics of the Solidity programming language. Okay, it's sort of just how you learn your ABCs. So I've pasted this into Remix. Um, important thing to note here is I'm using Solidity 0.4.21, and I also have the compiler version set to 0.4.2 run. Um, and I'm going to compile it like this. Start compile. All right, and then I'm going to run it. Um, sorry, I've got some old information here. And I'm going to choose Web3 provider as my current environment. Okay, you should do the same. And this is how you're going to uh, connect to Ganache. So once you choose that, it'll say, are you, want, are you sure you want to connect to an Ethereum node? Click OK. And then uh, you want to do localhost. And whatever port Ganache is running on, mine's 7545 right here. All right, so you, I'm going to choose 7545, okay? And I'll click OK. And now it's connected to Ganache, and we can deploy the smart contract. So boom, it worked. We can actually verify that on Ganache by looking at the logs or the transactions. All right, we can see a contract was created. Okay, so now we have a smart contract, and we want to interact with it on the blockchain. So we need a couple things. We need the smart contract address. Um, which I can copy here. Let's see here. Let's open it and see. Uh, actually, go back to compile. Let's uh, hold on. Let's just copy the address like this. Okay. Boom. Address copied. So we can go to our text editor really fast and paste that value in there. I'm going to go to Sublime Text. And actually, I haven't opened it yet. So I'll open it. Sorry, this opened on my other monitor. All right, so I'll go to app.py, and I'm going to paste in. This is the address that was deployed. So address. All right, and now we need the contract ABI. So I talked about this in my previous tutorial in this series, and ABI basically is just a JSON array that describes how the smart contract works. We'll say ABI equals JSON loads, and we're going to pass it in here. And in order to do that, we need to import JSON. Okay, we're gonna pass in the ABI array right there. So let's fetch that. Go back to Remix and go to Compile and click Details. And don't copy this ABI because it's gonna give you a big uh, JSON uh, object that's gonna span multiple lines. We just want a single line. So I'm going to just, uh, let's see, I don't think they give you a nice, easy way to do this. Let's. Uh, Copy the Web3 version. 
So I'm just gonna copy this line of JavaScript and we'll just format it inside of our editor. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna remove all this junk, go to the end of the line and copy out the JSON array. All right, so here's the ABI on the address. Now we can actually instantiate the contract like this. Um, oh, important note, here's a gotcha when working with uh, Python. You have to do this in order to format the address. We'll say web3 uh, to checksum address. And this is going to basically uh, format this the correct way in checksum format. So basically like ganache and, and uh, uh, sorry, my phone just dinged. Ganache and Remix both use like a combination of either uppercase or lowercase, and we got to do it in checksum format. Now we're going to instantiate the contract like this. We'll say contract equals uh, web3 eth uh, contract. We can pass in the keyword arguments, say address equals address, and ABI equals ABI. All right. And now we can read the greeting. We'll say contract uh, functions. Uh, let's see, greet. So we can call greet, and if you remember from the previous videos, it's not simply enough just to call the function, we actually have to say call, all right? And let's print this return value. Okay. So let's run the app. Let's see what happens. Oops, I had an error. Um, we actually went JSON loads, my fault. So let's try it again. All right, we have a new error. <laughs> so name web3 is not defined. All right, so now what we want to do, oh, my fault, we actually haven't, <laughs> we haven't created our web3 connection yet. So if we go to some of the previous examples, like from, uh, let's see, whenever we wrote transactions, I'm just going to copy this out of the examples directory. So if you clone this project from GitHub, I'll have all the examples here on the side. Um, so if I go to app.py, I'll put that back in there. All right. So that's uh, how we connect to Ganache. So my fault, guys. So let's try it again. All right, there we go. There's the actual original greeting. All right, so now that's how you, you know, read smart contract functions. That's nothing new. We did that in the previous videos. Uh, but now what we want to do is actually write data to this smart contract. And what we want to do is... Uh, update the greeting that we saw in Remix. So basically, we want to call this function right here, set greeting, okay? So we can do that in our uh, project like this. We'll say um, contract functions set greeting. All right, that's the function name on the smart contract. And we'll say, we'll say hello. That's the new greeting, okay? And so now we'll say transact. All right, so instead of call, it's just going to read the value, and there's transact, which is going to create a transaction on the blockchain, um, you know, to do that. All right, so if you're coming from Web3.js, a JavaScript background, this is similar to um, their send function. So we can um, actually return a transaction hash here. And oh, while I'm here, I just realized we need to set a default account in order to do this. So don't forget. Um, whenever we, you know, are creating transactions in the blockchain, we got to sign the transactions, and we need to tell it which account we're going to be sending this from. Okay, so we can do that like this: so Web three ETH default account equals Web three uh, ETH accounts zero. All right. So what that's going to do is actually get this first account from the list in Ganache and make that the default account. And unlike, you know, working with uh, like a HD wallet provider or something, this is already unlocked. So actually your HD wallet provider is also unlocked, but basically we don't have to provide a private key like we did in the transaction video uh, earlier in this series. Basically this, can out, this account's already unlocked with Ganache and we don't have to give it a private key. It's already gonna be able to sign transactions for us without giving too much information. All right, so now we can actually do this. So let's uh, print uh, TX hash. And let's try to run the script. We'll see what happens. I might have made a mistake. We'll find out. All right, yep, I did make a uh, mistake. So it has no attribute functions. 
So, sorry, function plural. So I forgot the S, let's try it again. All right, let's see what happens. All right, so we got a transaction uh, hash, that's good. So now let's um, actually display the new greeting. So what we can do is wait for a transaction receipt. So whenever you're creating a new transaction on the blockchain, it's got a life cycle. First, you're gonna get a transaction hashed back almost instantly, and then you have to wait for the transaction to be mined and, and also confirmed. And this is also like, there's all, all sorts of steps that it goes through. Um, and sometimes people use some terms synonymously, um, but basically what has to happen is you wanna get a receipt back before you can say, okay, the transaction was successful. So what we can do is say Web3 uh, ETH wait uh, for transaction receipt. And we can pass in the actual hash. Oh, sorry, hash. All right. And that will, you know, stop executing any code um, until we get there. So now we can say uh, print. Once it's, once it's actually gotten the receipt, we can say uh, updated greeting. And we can say this as a uh, format and pass in uh, contract functions, greet and call. So now we'll actually print the new greeting once it's changed. So we'll try it again. It's gonna take a second to load. All right, there we go. So we updated the greeting and here's the new one. All right, so let's actually change to something else just to make sure it actually did work. Uh, new greeting. All right, let's run it again. Let's make sure that uh, we didn't just write it twice. Okay, there we go. So there's the old greeting and there's the new greeting. So we know that our script worked. Awesome. All right, guys, so that's how you interact with smart contracts with Python and Ethereum and Web3. And that's how you actually create transactions with smart contracts. So if y'all like this video, again, as always, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and click the thumbs up button down below. And get excited about my Blockchain Developer Bootcamp, which is coming out on May 15th, 2019. You can find out more details about that with the link down in the description below. And if it's after May 15th, 2019, um, also click the link and find out how you can join the bootcamp. So again, hope y'all like this video and until next time, thanks for watching Dappy Diversity.